you doing? My name is uh, Earl B. Hunter. I'm actually the vice president of sales for Sylvan Sport. We make the Go Camper. The Go Camper is a 840-pound uh, toy hauler, camper, utility trailer all in one. Uh, we've been making this product for about 11 years now. We've won countless awards. As a matter of fact, we won the Edison Award for the most innovative product in the world. We're here right now at Mid-State uh, RV Center here in Byron, Georgia, and they're one of our newest dealers in Georgia, and we're excited to have them. So what I want to do is give you guys a quick demo and uh, show you how unique the product is. All right? So we'll head it. The, the Go Camper, if you look at it, again, it's all made here in the United States. Uh, we make it in Brevard, North Carolina. Um, all the welding, uh, all the fabrication, and everything is actually done uh, in, North, in North Carolina, Brevard, North Carolina, the city of, uh, of uh, water fountains, waterfalls. So first of all, let me just tell you about the unit. Uh, not only is it aluminum, but in terms of the weight, 840 pounds, uh, it has a torsion axle on it, uh, which actually gives it that roll. So when you're pulling the unit, it feels like air when you're pulling it because it's so light. Uh, we have 10-inch tires on the unit. Uh, we have LED lights on the back, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, what's really cool about the unit, it also has a two-year warranty on it from bumper to tongue. Um, one of the coolest things I always tell our customers is that uh, we made this unit uh, for the everyday camper, for the camper who, uh, who wants to get off the ground, or for the camper who just wants to uh, have some leisure time, or if you want to do some tailgating, things of that nature. So I always talk about our coupler. Our, our coupler is really cool in terms of it has a plus, a minus, and an X on it. And basically what that does is let first-time trailer puller tours know that you can actually hook this trailer onto your, your ball of your, your car and actually pull it and be reassured that the unit is actually latched properly, all right? So the first thing you want to do when you actually get your Go Camper um, to the uh, campground is you want to put the jacks down. And basically, you want to open up the case here, which is your storage space. And inside your storage space, you're going to have your uh, tent poles, which I'll show you in a minute. You're also going to have your awning, which I'll show you in a minute here what it does. And also, you're going to need these. These are really important. These are your bed legs, all right? Now, before you get, when you get to the campground, the first thing you want to do is, and I did this in the front already, you want to put down your jack legs. Really easy to do. And basically what you want to do is, you want to go in the front, and there's the jack in there. You want to push and pull, pull back, right? In order to set your jack, you're going to get two of these inside of your... Uh, you bend there, and you want to make sure that this goes all the way through, and you want to set your jack. You want to do the same thing on the other side, which we'll get down here in a second, and we'll show you guys. So now, we did it in the front already. The same jacks are in the front. They're down. And now, your unit is pretty stable. If you get to a campground, and the unit doesn't look stable, you can always take some small pieces of wood and actually put at the bottom of the base of the uh, jacks to make sure that the, uh, the unit is level, all right? Now, what I tend to do is I'm gonna go back into my boot here and I'm going to put this here and I'm gonna get my winder out, all right? Well, just like any other pop-up, which our unit is a pop-down, which you'll see here in a second, we're gonna put our winder in. It's really easy to use, really easy to find, so we're gonna put it here. But before we start to go into camper mode, the first thing you have to do is you got to pull out your pins. There are four pins on each side, all right? So I'm going to go around, pull these pins out, go here, pull these pins out. And just because we do everything multifunctional, I'm going to show you a cool place to put these pins. Put them right there, all right? The next thing you want to do is you want to go into wind mode. So the first mode I'm going to show you is actually um, toy hauler mode. You can actually put a uh, scooter, uh, you can put a Harley on there, you can put two dirt bikes on there. Up to 800, 800 pounds you can actually put inside this, uh, this camper here, okay? We're gonna wind this unit up. Now I will tell you that if it takes you, the first time you do it is gonna take you about 30 minutes because you're first time doing it. And then when you're in the campground, everybody's gonna be gushing and goshing about the unit. They're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. So. Just bear with them, though, because they hadn't seen the coolest camper ever that you actually purchased. The second thing is, if it takes you more than 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes the second time, you're probably doing something wrong, 
all right? Because it's really easy, very easy of use. So the first thing we're going to do, now we're going to wind this thing up, all right? Real easy to wind, wind it up. I tell everyone that you can, we actually have a accessory that you can actually put on the end of a drill bit and actually drill this up yourself and it's really easy to do. But I like doing this because it keeps me in shape and uh, gives me an opportunity to show you guys the reel. So we'll come up, close up like so. You wanna get it about uh, halfway up. Well then, you wanna bring your unit up and you wanna set that there, right? You wanna do the same thing on this side, right? Like so. And then, you wanna take your step, which is your license plate holder, and you actually wanna bring it down. So now, not only is your license plate holder a, uh, can hold your license plate, it also becomes your step. Well, the next thing you do is you wanna pull all your camping gear off out of your bins. So, customers who have small cars, Prius, Mini Coopers, Subarus, all the cars used to pull a unit like this, you don't have a lot of room inside your trunks. This is all the room you need in terms of your camping gear. Now, when you want to go into camper mode, you just, I'm sorry, you want to go into transport mode, you want to bring this back down, all right? So now, this locks into place. This locks into place for your camper. And now, you can actually have your motorcycle, uh, you can have bikes, you can have kayaks, you can have up to 800, 800 pounds inside of here and you can transport this unit just like so. You can also put your kayaks, your boats, your bikes on top. Let me give you a quick story. If you're traveling to South Carolina from Georgia and you want to go camping, but you want to stop someplace, say in Millersville, and you wanted to go camping there, you had your bikes, you had your boats, you had everything on top. Well, at that particular campsite, you don't want to pull all those things off. You don't have to. You can leave your kayaks up there, you can leave your bikes up there, up to 165 pounds up top, and you still can go into camper mode, which is what I'm about to show you now. So, after you've gotten all your gear off, now you can have a woosaw moment, and now you can go into the camping part. So basically what you want to do is continue to wind up, like so. And it'll virtually tell you when to stop because you'll feel the tension. But just in case you're just really strong, you don't feel the tension, it has some grooves in there to show you exactly where to stop. Now the next thing is, just like your beds at home, you're gonna have some legs on your bed. And so basically these are the legs that you're gonna use for your go camper bed. Again, I always put my bags there so I won't lose them. Each of the legs have a little keyway on it. So it'll tell you exactly where to put this you just put it in, turn it. The same thing on this side, turn it. Same thing on the other side, turn it. Tom Dempsey, which is our CEO and uh, lead, lead design on this project, his, his, his thought was to make this unit really easy to use. And he certainly did that in terms of how you actually assemble and disassemble the product. So the next thing you want to do is, Instead of going inside, you want to take this and you actually want to bring it out. Inside, there's a groove here. Show you there. All you have to do now is turn it and it fits down in the inside. Put it here and do the same thing. We just did a quick demo here at uh, Mid-State uh, RV Center here in uh, Byron, Georgia. And I got to tell you, the sales reps really knew how to actually use the product because they actually went on to our YouTube site and saw how to actually uh, assemble the product. So again, real easy. So you put this in there and uh, you wanna do the other side as well. These are going to be your beds. These will hold up to 500 pounds on each side, maybe a little more, but we like to say 500 pounds, which is a lot in terms of a camper. Now the next thing you wanna do is, which is a surprise that everybody loves is they always ask me, where is the camper? Earl, where is the camper? And this is always a great surprise. So you basically just step up on your step and there's a latch right here. You just pull the latch and it comes down like so. I always get like a, oh wow, this thing is a great moment until they see the rest of it. And then I get the really oh wow. So basically what you want to do is you want to grab the unit and want to bring it back. Because again, 
This is gonna be your wall in the insides. Once you get it there, remember, I wind it up, but now I'm gonna wind it down, right? I'm gonna wind it down, and now the unit is pretty stable, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna attach here, I'm gonna attach here, I'm gonna street down, I'm gonna attach here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Do the same thing here, same thing here. Duplicate everything on that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. And we're gonna go around the unit and we're gonna do the same thing on each side. The next thing I wanna do, now that I got everything all pinned together, most of you guys who have been tent camping know these all so well. These tent poles, these are all aluminum, and actually, we're gonna put them together. I say put them together like Lego blocks. So you're gonna have one orange, this is for our door, and you're gonna have two grays. These are for our bed and window area. Again, I'm sure you guys have done this before. I was never a Boy Scout, but I learned how to do it. So then, what you wanna do is, you want to start to thread the poles through the tent. Don't worry about tearing the tent at all. Very strong, 200 DP ripstop tent, meaning that the tent is also water resistant, um, but it's also ripstop turns in terms of when it actually, if it tears, it actually will tear and it will stop. Uh, it won't continue, and if it does, we have some patch that we actually use as an accessory we can actually give you guys to actually repair that. Now, once you get it in the grommet, you wanna push straight up. That's the abracadabra moment right there, all right? So, we're back to talk about in terms of go camper. So what is, has been done already, we've put the uh, tent poles in to make our uh, windows and our bed. We did it on both sides. Also showed you the boot of the uh, camper that actually can be used also as an ice cooler as well. Well, one thing I didn't show you, which I'm gonna leave as a surprise for you on the unit that goes along with the, uh, the uh, cooler. But for now, I'm gonna show you now how to put the, uh, the door on because we put the windows on in the bed. So we'll put the door on. Remember, the orange pole is for the door. So we just slide, basically we're doing a little quick threading. We're gonna slide this through and push it all the way through like so, kind of halfway through, and we're gonna bend it and it's gonna show you what this little orange piece is. There's a little slot right inside of it. Not inside of that one, but right there in that slot, right? And then, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go all the way up, and we're gonna do the same thing and put it in that slot as well. We'll take this Velcro, Velcro that, to fasten it like so. Very easy to use. Now, we'll go on the inside of the unit. Now that we've actually, we're back here at Mid-State RV Center here in Byron, Georgia, and we're talking about the Silver Sport Go Camper, uh, the coolest camper ever. Uh, I always call it the best thing since ice cream. This camper, we're gonna talk about the interior of the camper now. Well, the interior of the camper you have, I always call the, we have uh, six vents, seven vents actually. You have two up here that you can't see. You have two down here that we're gonna open, and we have two here that uh, the window and we have one here on our door so the first thing we're going to do is a little warm we're going to open up our vents we're going to get it really cool in here open up one there we're going to open up one right here we're going to open the window the cool thing about the window is that you can actually go into private mode or you can actually open the window you can have a a screen there uh, that's a clear screen that actually you can look outside uh, but it also, my favorite, is when you open it completely and now you have your screen to get let all this cool air in, all right? Then, you know, do the same thing on this side, all right? The other thing is it has some kind of some moon roofs in it. In terms of here, you can actually wind this unit down here and actually attach it, attach the... Uh, the coil here and it will actually 
show you something really cool in terms of getting that all attached together. Now, the next thing is what you want to do. Just like at home, your beds have box springs. Well, this unit has box springs too. Well, if you notice something, I hadn't taken anything out of a car, anything out of a truck, of anything. Basically, what you need to go camping is right here in the Silver Sport Go Camper. So basically, here are your box springs. They're kind of folded together, kind of a quadruple fold here. You know, you put them here inside the camper. So we're gonna make our bed. Again, these are sort of like your box springs. All right, I'm gonna put those in. I'm gonna put these in here. Pretty excited about this, because now we're getting ready to put our, our true bed down, which I always like showing, because it always mystify a lot of people when we find the bed. I told you there are two mattresses in the front. Don't worry about those mattresses yet. Here are the mattresses that you need to worry about. They're right here. You pull this back and you reach up here. Here are your mattresses. What's cool about the mattresses is, which I'll tell you, the mattresses are actually inflatable and deflatable just with the air in these valves. So if I open these valves, these two valves, they're actually the unit, the, uh, the thermorest actually mattresses will inflate, right? And once they get inflated, you turn them again to close them off, and then they're actually to a, a thick, about this thick, and now it's a real comfortable size. Well, when you're actually wanting to deflate them, you do the same thing, and you actually roll them, and now you have a deflatable mattress there. So we'll put the mattresses on the side here, right? As you can see, if I lay down inside here, I have a ton of room. As a matter of fact, a seven foot person can actually lay down on these beds. And as you can see, there's a lot of height up here as well. One of the biggest complaints about smaller units is that you don't have a lot of headroom. Well, you don't have that complaint with the Go Camper. All right? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna show you the, how to actually go from twin beds, we're gonna go to how to make this unit a king and a half size bed, and you don't have to add anything else. So you're gonna have a window, I'm sorry, a bed from window to window. So basically what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come here, right? You open this up, bring this down, like so. We're gonna unlatch this, like so. Pull your table down, and then you want to take your table and put it across, like so. Bring the other table down, do the same thing. There are two more mattresses inside the boot. Now you put those, place those there, and now you have a bed from window to window you have a super king and a half size bed. So now uh, the unit certainly can sleep up to four people and possibly five or six in terms of how many people, how, many, how, how large the people are. Now the next thing is, so you've done all your camping, uh, you, you slept good, everything was great. Now it's time to eat. Well, if you notice, again, I didn't take anything out of the car for the mattresses. I didn't take anything out to make the king and a half size bed. And I'm not gonna take anything out to make the table as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the table. So we're going to put this table here. We're going to grab our ratchet strap there and we're going to put the extra table up here like so. As we transition from our king and a half size bed from our twin size bed, it's time to eat now. So now we're gonna, we're gonna have some food. And you can't eat on the floor, so we actually have a table you can eat on and very easy to assemble. So we'll close this, like so. Then we'll go here, unscrew our screw here. We're gonna go here to our ratchet strap because you're gonna get four of these inside of your uh, Go Camper. You're gonna get four of these in case you actually wanna use these ratchet straps to tie down your bikes, uh, your motorcycle, anything else you wanna tie down in, your, uh, in the trailer of your, of your unit. And we're gonna put those right here. As you see, it goes through the loop and it's really cool to do that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this table, right? Put it right here, move it backwards, that same screw that I told you guys about. We're gonna take it, we're gonna screw it down, then we're gonna take 
this ratchet and go underneath here, and now you have a table. And what's cool about this, you can adjust this however you want, and now you can have dinner, lunch, breakfast, brunch, or anything right here on the Go Camper table. Basically, what I've shown you is the Go Camper, I've shown you the most innovative product in the world, one of the most innovative products in the world. But what I've shown you is an easy way to go camping. You can get this camper right here at Mid State RV Center in Byron, Georgia. And these guys would be exceptional when it comes to taking care of the customer. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I chose them as one of our dealers, uh, because we have dealers all over the country that actually want to carry the uh, Sylvan Sport Go Camper. But I particularly chose this particular group because of the owner, Lee, and because of the sales staff and the um, sales manager, Jeff. I want to tell you guys that I'm, I'm really proud of our unit. Uh, I'm really proud to be the vice president of sales here at, at, at Sylvan Sport because this is the coolest camper ever. And Mid-State uh, RV Center is the coolest, camp, coolest dealer ever in terms of uh, partnering with us to carry the Go Camper. So come down, grab the unit, take it home, and have your camping experience, and welcome to the Sylvan Sport family. Thank you. See you.